r slash ask reddit what exists for the sole purpose of pissing people off the pattern of hold music where the music is really loud with poor sound quality and is interrupted every few minutes with a voice that you think might be the person picking up to finally help you but instead it's just a recorded voice quietly saying thank you for continuing to hold someone will be with you shortly which is completely redundant information but then you have to have your ear next to the phone when the loud poor quality music starts blasting again edit omg thank you guys for the boatload of karma gold and silver as well as over 250 responses in order to give back here are some buried comments that deserve higher visibility today i learned there is this person and this person whose job requires them to type out the words each time the robot talks but this person designs the audio for people on hold here is the most appropriate song for hold music and here is a company that intentionally developed hell the worst possible hold experience where I work. I call that an office sit up. I'm lean back. Hear the music stop play. Sit up only to hear that I'm still on hold. Then lean back again. I had one once where the message saying your call is important to this had a ringing tone at the beginning. Either the unsubscribing buttons on emails that don't work or the automatic dialer scam calls. I really think I can pay off my zero dollars of student debt without a reduction thank you very much. My favorite is getting calls about an extended warranty for a car I haven't owned in 5 years. Mandatory email signups when visiting a website or using a service. Even some doctors and dentists require you to do it now. Eat a dong. Pinterest. There is a plugin I use that bypasses the Pinterest login. Food bloggers writing their life story before finally getting to the damn recipe. Grandma's famous snickerdoodle swell. Ones like, OMG, when I was three and a half and was all like, Grandma would you make me cookies? And she solemnly spoke and said, this is after the cancer, mind you, lovely Aida, light of my life, it'll make you anything. And then during middle school break, after the measles outbreak of 89, while the family was quarantined in the neighboring county's shelter, I wish they were that interesting. As I was wandering around the market with my 6 children I saw that the market had beef and I thought they looked wonderful. I remembered the last time I'd had beef and thought about how happy I would be with beef. I've always wanted to try am exotic recipe for beef. Yada, yada, yada. Here's my plain steak. 95% of articles shared on social media. Also a lot of the news stories that are on 24-7 news channels. On both sides, they'll find a few Twitter accounts saying something dumb. Spin it into a millennials think home ownership is for racists. Conservatives want to take food stamps away from anyone who has ever looked at an avocado. When in reality it's just a few dumb people. Possibly may even be a shit post. Fake drawer handles on furniture. Similarly, fake pockets on clothes. The pop up to subscribe in the newsletter of a website that covers the entire ducking page. Of course I will subscribe to it on the first time I'm visiting your website. Recently I keep seeing websites give me warning overlays that take up half the page telling me about the website using cookies and I have to accept to get rid of it. Same thing with was this page helpful? Pop ups. I mean, I have no ducking clue if this page is helpful. You won't let me read it. My brother got a toothpick crossbow for Christmas. Unnecessary hard to open plastic packaging around some of the least valuable items. They do that so people don't steal those cheap items. Some people might steal a scissor because what the hell. It's like a dollar and you can easily put it in your pocket. Not much harm done. But inside the plastic packaging it gets bulky and for some reason seems like a more valuable thing only actual criminals would steal. Open bracket. Stealing is bad and a crime no matter what of course. But some people see that differently. That stupid crimped packaging that comes on knives. Scissors. Eck that is impossible to open and sharp as hell when you finally do tear it open. All warranty returns must be in the original packaging. Then they say you should have been more careful when opening the package. Fart prank spray that literally smells like sewer filled with ducking shit with one spray. Being hit by this ducking chemical weapon and not being pissed off is impossible. Fun fact, Liquidus brand fart spray is used to train combat medics when they're practicing abdomen wounds. Apparently, 
It's pretty close to the smell of a real gadget puncture of the bowel. Edit. It's used in simulations offered by Strategic Operations. A San Diego contractor that does some training for the Marines at Camp Pendleton. They're also the company that built the creepy fake Iraqi village outside featuring. Brag, IDK how the Navy decides which medics to send to their program. Or how frequently they actually use the liquid ass. I don't know how much fun I had learning this. The last key on the piano plink 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 excuse me. I'm playing a song are you really though? Plink plink plink. I used to play piano at a church. Every ducking service I'd get someone coming over and messing with my keyboard. If it had been a church owned keyboard it wouldn't have been so bad. But it was my personal keyboard that I brought from home. And any time I asked someone to not touch my keyboard. They'd get annoyed with me. The worst were the kids who were old enough to understand the concept of being respectful of other people's things but who hadn't been taught that yet. Or because they seemed to get genuinely offended that I didn't want them to mess with my keyboard. Oh. And the keyboard was heavy. And I had to balance it very carefully on the stand or it'd fall and get damaged. Or, you know, fall on the idiot kid who was messing with it. So it was an actual safety concern. No one else's instruments got messed with. Just mine. Gah. Man. Entitled kids are the worst. I always hate when someone else's kids wants to watch videos or play games on your phone and the parent is confused why you won't let them. Do you really need to look at Emmy like I am insane when I won't let little cousin Billy use the device that holds all of my pictures of my boyfriend's huge coke? Aunt Karen? Do you really need this one explained to you? Stickers that come apart when you peel them off of things and leave paper slash adhesive residue behind that you then have to try to scrape off. Additional pro tip. Peel those stickers off comically slow. So slow it doesn't feel like you're actually peeling it at all. It'll take 5 minutes to peel the sticker off, but it will come off in one piece, adhesive and all. Also, hit them with a hairdryer for a couple seconds if you have one. Warms the adhesive up and weakens its grip. How commercials are intentionally louder than the show. Capital F. If this is happening on a television service in the US, it is illegal it violates the CARM Act and you can report it to the FCC here. Source. Previous tech support rep for your unfriendly neighborhood antichrist cable company. Note, there is a loophole. Namely the commercial can be as loud as the loudest point of the TV show. IT would be like Emmy writing an endorsement for delicious. Delicious pizza. Copyright sign. In all caps because the above sentence contained one capitalized letter. Edit. I was wrong. A commercial's volume on average is to match the average sound of the program. But it can have its louder bits. There is also sound compression that can make commercials sound louder. Instead of. By delicious. Delicious pizza. Copyright sign. Now with 30% real cheese. It would be. By delicious. Delicious pizza. Copyright sign. Now with 30% real cheese. I am sorry for spreading false info. 2 minute long commercials for a 30 second video clip. I just wanted to see a movie trailer. Which is basically an ad. They forced me to watch another trailer. It's an ad you have to watch in order to watch another ad. Those pull tabs on seals that don't work unless you really put your back into it. Then they give suddenly in the contents of the container fly out and make a hard mess. This is why I stick to clubbing my seals. I love clubbing with my seal. Dude can really pull the white chicks for some reason. Even with, you know, the face thing. The confirm your human stuff where you have 9 pictures and have to click all the pictures with cars and when you click on one another one appears with a car on it. I duck those stuff. Oh oh oh. And the. Click all squares with stoplights and them. And here is me, the idiot, wondering if the pole that holds up the stoplights is technically considered a part of the stoplight. How much of the edge of a sign is considered a sign? Those fake $20 bills that are actually church pamphlets. Just drop them back off in the collection plate. Mail them to me. I take $100 a week from a local church to sing in their choir. I'd be happy to drop these in the box. Dozens at a time. Edit. Oh hey this got some attention yet others have noted this is pretty common. Particularly in cities and around universities. I happen to be near both. And the church that hires me is in an upscale end of town. 
I always figured if there's even one rich guy who donates 10-20k to the church, he covers the cost of the choir for the whole year. Only 8 of us get paid, but there are closer to 20 in the choir. Edit Moa. Also no I'm not religious. Me and one of the tenor section leaders stay seated during communion and keep singing hymns. It works out, because otherwise it gets awkwardly quiet when the choir goes up for their crackers. LOL. YouTube videos or blogs that take 20 minutes to get to the useful information you actually need. Edit. First time being gilded. Thanks stranger. Man. Online recipes. Jesus. Nobody cares what hubby did this weekend. Give me the recipe and shut the duck up. Edit. Thank you all for the recommendations. Budget Bytes has a skit link. There are Chrome extensions to block this. I could control F for print. And the blog bullshit is for copyright search engine optimization. Hey YouTube. It's your boy Daddy Azir. Don't you hate it when you're looking for a recipe online and you're just like AIEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEE
this song isn't working out here. It would be let me tell you about a product. Better if we put it at the beginning. The inequality of the number of hot dogs versus the number of buns in a pack. Fully automated customer service phone numbers. Not customer service, but one company directory I was forced to use required that I say my contact's name. There was no option to spell it out with the keys. Flipping useless machine was incapable of understanding Muhammad Joha so I just ended up shouting his name for 20 minutes with every inflection I could think of edited to add, this was at work, not in public. So no reason for anyone to panic or be that weirded out. Not gonna specify the industry, but it wasn't a hospital. Door handles for doors you are supposed to push to open. Badly designed doors are called Norman doors. After the designer who first explicitly called them out, they are the worst. A so called Norman door has design elements that give you the wrong usability signals to the point that special signage is needed to clarify how they work. Without signs, a user is left guessing about whether to push or pull, creating needless frustration. HTTPS colon slash slash. 99% invisible, or article Norman doors don't know whether push pull blame design. There's a traffic light in Boston that's on a road with no intersection or crosswalk. There's literally no reason for it. On a red light, no one else has the right of way. You're just sitting there waiting for nothing. And worst of all it has a sign that says light timed for frequent stops. I'm pretty sure someone put it there just to inconvenience people. This is some Seinfeld level stuff. What road is it? I want to google earth it. It's on MA16 right off the exit from I-93. Tried to find it on google earth but couldn't. I don't think it shows all stoplights and signs. As far as I can remember it's a stoplight to the right of the road. Slimer's gifts for children. Bonus points if it's a slime kit that the parent needs to help them make. So not only do I get to try and get this shit out of my carpet. I have to help them make it first. I regret all the times I suggested people get it for my niece as a gift. I know she loves it, but I couldn't understand the evil lie my sister-in-law would give the gift giver until my kids got a slime kit, and I got roped into making it. I got my three nieces glitter slime one year, and the next year my bill gave my kid a drum kit. I did not realize until then that glitter slime was considered a first strike at a scorched earth campaign. LOL you gotta get them something with a lot of pieces next. Like many Legus BC they are not only hard to pick up but they stab them in the foot in the middle of the night when they go to pee. Crusty dried up erasers. Duck them. Made a mistake? How about some pink streaks across your paper? And nobody ever warns you that the eraser is bad. Especially the kid who lent you the damn thing. It's always a surprise. YouTube content claim RE algorithm. YouTube's content claims in general are awful. Didn't the fat rat get a false claim on one of his own songs that he literally couldn't get rid of or contest? He eventually got rid of it, if I remember correctly. But the way YouTube content claim is set up, is that the person who is claiming the video is the one who sees your appeal, not YouTube. So with fat rat it went like this. Fat posts his video, a-hole claims his video, fat sends in an appeal explaining why the a-hole is wrong and the video is rightfully his, a-hole licks the shit off his fingers, sees the appeal and clicks deny, YouTube refuses to get involved because, well, it's YouTube and it's run by idiots who couldn't tell the difference between their a-hole and their elbow even if both of them slap them in their ducking worthless mouths. When you have an itch but when you scratch it the itch is like actually under your skin and so you're scratching and there's no result. I'm not the only one that gets that. Right? Edit. Change to word edit too. Holy crap. My first silver. Thanks. Especially on the sole of the foot. Number. No. Any article of women's clothing that has fake pockets. I swear my ducking boss only exists to piss people off. Gonna need you to come in Saturday. I already work weekends. You're going to have to try harder than that Donna. If you paid more attention to the schedule that you wrote you would know this. The fake X on advertisements. All the ones on mobile that have 2x2 two two pixels that you can never hit and instead click the ad. And sometimes there is no X. Only some text saying no I don't like saving money. Filing income taxes. 
The eyes has all this info already and there's no reason you need to fill out complicated forms so you don't get sent to prison. You should be able to file changes additions and not have to pay separate companies just to file. This. Those third party companies employ lobbyists to actively block any legislation that would allow the IRS to offer free, pre-filled out online filing services, like 20 other countries already do. Source. Glitter. Also. Slime is now back and kids are obsessing over it so that's on the list too. Edit what the duck ever happened to light bright? That was good clean fun. Slime can be cleaned if you put your back into it. But glitter. Glitter is forever. After the bombs drop all that's left of earth will be really fabulous looking cockroaches. Spotify ads. Literally. They are literally designed to be annoying so that people would premium. I mean I don't mind if there are some ads and music service if the ad is to sell you some product. I'm just waiting for Spotify to buy rights to the Dumb and Dumber movie so they can be like hey. Want to know what's the most annoying sound I can make? Screeg by Spotify Premium Screeg. HTTPS colon slash slash. Yautu. BBBQ 571 Eosoth this guy gets it. Those spikes on the ledges on the sides of buildings to prevent homeless people from sitting. They are created for the purpose of pissing people off so they don't sit on the ledge. When a screen loads up, and then readjusts right when you are trying to click on something. Which then causes you to click on the wrong thing. The new red gas cans. The FedGov started requiring a new spout that has a valve that completely prevents you from being able to pour gas out of it. Seems to serve no other purpose than prevent people from being able to use a gas can without pouring gasoline all over the place. Region locking on content, music, movies, video games, etc. Bedbugs. Ops said pissing people off, not destroying people's homes, personal belongings as well as all the mental anguish. Piers Morgan. Flat Earth supporters. There's no way that many people are dumb enough to believe the earth is flat. What we're really getting here is a well executed troll. The best trolls are the ones that convince their target that they are not being trolled. Hoas. Having to put in your credit card information in order to get a free trial. YouTube and satisfying compilations. Pretty straightforward there. Websites that require you to turn off and block. Recorders. Those shitty plastic wind instruments. Edit. I know what they're for. They still piss me off. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.